on. So I just want to comment about the Deontay uh, Wilder fight against uh, Luis Ortiz. And I saw the knockout. I mean, I wasn't really blown away uh, with the fight per se. It was kind of sluggish in spots. I think Deontay Wilder is a very good fighter for his time. And I'm going to say time because I'm going to be real. I don't think there are any... You know, you got fighters who are great for their time, but the heavyweight division on the whole is a joke. I mean, this ain't back in the day. I was talking to a homeboy about this earlier today, and I said a cat like Ernie Shavers, who would be considered a, a middle-high second-tier fighter with, with the branding and the power, would be deadly today. But back in the day, he had the way that's turned in line because you had top-tier fighters like Ali and Joe Frazier and George Foreman, Jimmy Young, Ken Norton Sr., okay? You had cats, you had five deep, and then we were getting the Larry on. So you had deep, and you had to wait, you know. But uh, Deontay Wilder, uh, that knockout in the second round was sweet. He caught him real good. He caught him clean. You know, again, it wasn't, you know, the fight went on a little bit longer. And it's one of those situations where, you know, there was respect and everything. But, you know, um... I'm not going to sit here and, you know, I give people their props and their due. But again, I can only tell you this. Fighters are good for their time period, you know, within what you're working with. Can I sit here and say that he's the best I've ever seen? No. I mean, I've seen better fighters for different technical reasons. I mean, one of the guys that was called in the fight, Lennox Lewis, who is my all-time favorite British fighter, by the way, was one of the best and underrated fighters. Arguably top 15 type. Overall, from the heavyweight division, you know. So, depends on what you're looking for. But I would say Deontay Wilder definitely paced himself nicely. And that knockout was a sweet jab. I mean, I ain't going to even front. That takeout was nice. But the heavyweight, if you're of a certain age in the time period, you're not looking at a heavyweight fighting like you did back in the day. That's why MMA blew up so big. And you remember the middleweights and other weight, the classes were bigger because there weren't a lot of heavyweights. Ironically, a heavyweight champion is was like a thing of royalty in the sports world, really. So he did tie Muhammad Ali for 10 times straight of compassion and defense, but it's not Ali, but he's good for his time, and that's to be respected. And like I said, he's, he's, he was cool. I got respect for the cat. And like I said, that jab, that knockdown was no joke. He caught him clean. He, he, he rocked him. He rocked him. So anyway, that's my take, my thoughts about Deontay Wilder knocking out Luis Ortiz to win that fight in the seventh round. Feel free to give me your thoughts and your takes. Where do you rank him all the time? What do you think about him? Competition, etc. What do you think about the heavyweight division? How do you look at it? Do you look at boxing on how you look at it on the whole compared to now to then in the past? Feel free to give me your thoughts, your takes, your comments. Hit the like and subscribe. I welcome it all. Peace.